affordable racing, but it's a tremendous show as well. Here's how this one played out. The standing start. Car 139, James Lodge was the one to watch in this, in that all-white X3 XL. He started this one on the outside of the second row. Didn't waste too much time working his way to the front. Tracy was the leader. This extraordinary little moment of three wide motor racing out of turn eight, all the way through turn nine and into turn 11. And then two of them off the road on the outside. And that was all the invitation that Lodge needed. And then just got into the rear bar of Tracy down there under brakes. As always, a little bit of slip and slide in changeable conditions, a really light rain shower in the early stages of this one. And this ultimately was the pass for the lead. Lodge gets up the inside at turn two. Waghorn gives Tracy a whack and that would set the turn tone for the remainder of their battle for second and third position that would last the remainder of the race. Behind them, Barnes and Longmore were fighting on for fourth and fifth. And second, third, fourth and fifth basically held at some point, all of them had a crack at one of those positions throughout. And while they were battling, it was perfect for James Lodge because he was well and truly out in front and just building a margin and safe from attack while they squabble behind. Turn one, fast, even in 100 horsepower Excel. And to go side by side through there is a great display of racing. So Waghorn and Tracy at turn two this time, it was Waghorn up the inside. And this was Longmore looking down the inside of Barnes, which gave him the outside run into the final complex. The old Sydney Motorsport Park over under didn't quite work there. But in the end, a 1.48 second victory for James Lodge, the race winner in the XLs. Rusty, what a great show.